Hi guys, Yuri here again. Today we are going to open uh, Elite Trainer Boxes and from Silver Tempest we have both the regular ETB and we have the Pokemon Center ETB. We've done a comparison like this with the uh, Brilliant Stars Elite Trainer Boxes uh, and there's a couple of differences but let's see, let's, let's find out. So first of all, the design of the box is a bit different. Like the color on the Vulpix is a bit different on the Pokemon Center one. Uh, it has more of a greenish kind of blue, I think. Uh, but also on this one, it has like these crystals in the design. And then here it's like these snowflakes uh, as a backdrop. So, I mean, which one is better? Which one looks better? I don't know. Um, the thing, like I have doubles on the, I have a double on the Pokemon Center one. Uh, I do I have an? I don't even know if I have a double on the regular ETB, but whatever. Let's look at it from the back and see what is in every booster, uh, every Elite Trainer box. Um, in the regular one, we have eight booster packs. We have the sleeves, we have energy cards, we have a, is it some kind of mini binder? What is it? Uh, energy cards, player guide, dice, we have the acrylic condition markers, uh, legal coin flip dies, die, yeah. Uh, a collector's box to hold everything. Uh, with four dividers to keep it organized uh, and a code card. Okay, so and then in the Pokemon Center one, uh, what do we have extra? We have a coin from uh, Vulpix and we have two more booster packs. And I think that's basically it. Now, there's two different designs on the, on the sleeves as far as I can see right now. But that's basically the only difference. So two more packs in the Pokemon Center one together with the coin and some other designs on the sleeves, I think, but that's it. So let's open them together. Let's open both of these. Let's see, is this the best way to do it? Okay. So let's find out. The last opening from Silver Tempest that I've done was a three pack blisters. And that was actually kind of a crazy opening just for like these six packs that we've opened. Uh, Cause there were two, there were two uh, three pack blisters that we opened cause the different promo cards in that. Oh, come on. Uh, and I don't have to tell you of course that the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes are more exclusive, uh, but like I have a couple of the Elite Trainer boxes from the Pokemon Center uh, from Sword and Shield. Uh, but I'm not really trying to get all of them anymore because it's only from the Scarlet and Violet era onwards that there were exclusive promo cards too. So let's see here. We have the regular ETB right over here. Player's Guide, that will probably be the same. There's some nice art on the inside too. Mm, cool. Oh, there's, oh, that's, it's the four different arts that we see on the booster packs from Silver Tempest too. Okay. Kind of like that, kind of like that. Um, let's see, this one. Oh, the, the design of the boxes inside is the same though. Similarly to the one from Brilliant Stars where it's also that same situation. So the same player's guide probably. Let's, let's check it out. There's a little bit of a bend in this one though. But let's check it out. Let's see what is in it. Let's check the set. These are the regular cards. I mean not the, all the regular but just like the 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 regular set without the art galleries and such let's see here i do have these two lugias right now but let's go a little further then we have all the full art starting here i don't think i have one of these i'm not sure 
Um, no, I don't. I don't have any of these full arts. Uh, I, I, I do have Candice, though. I do have Candice over here. Uh, let's see, I have the worker, that as well. Um, and then I should have the, is it the Magneton or Rainbow Rare? Uh, oh no, the Brandon. I have Brandon uh, Rainbow Rare. That's right. Then we have all the gold cards and the trainer galleries, is it right? Trainer gallery, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and then we have the, uh, the gold cards at the end. I, I mean, it's not really gold cards, but it's kind of interesting. It's brilliant star. Um, sorry, it's Silver Tempest, but the two last designs on here are Rayquaza and Duraludon, and those are actually more more known uh, for evolving skies. So interesting. Oh, I do have the Corviknight's uh, uh, trainer gallery though. And I do have another one as well, but which one was it? Oh yeah, we have multiple ones of these. Uh, we have the Altaria, we have the Smeargle. Uh, do have the Mawal as well. Uh, let's see, what do we have besides that? Oh yeah, I do have the Pessimian. Two, uh, I have the Malamar too, and that's it. I think that's it. Okay, so let's put these guides to the side, and let's open both of them. Let's look at the back. It's exactly the same looking. Nothing too crazy. Same inside as well so let's grab everything that is in here so this is the pokemon trainer elite uh pokemon Tra pokemon center elite trainer box that's the coin from vulpix which looks kind of nice but definitely not worth on its own the price of the the price difference between the two boxes uh Let's grab everything here too. What is in it? The dice are the same here. Exactly the same. Coins and acrylic star V marker. V star marker is just the same. Okay. The the um, we have the Lugia art on the um, on the uh, sleeves there. Um, let's see. Besides that. Everything is pretty much the same, except for the packs. On the regular one, we have the Vulpix sleeves. I think we have, the, we have them right here as well. Yeah, but it's a different art. And I do prefer the art on the Pokemon Center uh, sleeves, actually. Okay, I mean, I can always use those. Never have enough sleeves. Let's put this all to the side so that we can focus on the main events, the cards themselves. So we have dividers, four dividers. Is it the same art on the dividers? I guess we'll find out. Then we have the energy cards and the promo card, uh, the code card, sorry. No need to open these, it's just energy cards. Let's see here. All right, so there should be eight right there. Then we have the energy cards and the promo, oh, and the promo code right here, the code card. And we also have the dividers. Come on, it's not working along. Looks like the same art, I think. Yeah, it is. It's the same art on the dividers. All right. Let's put that to the side as well. Don't need any of these right now. So let's first grab all the packs from the regular ETB and then the ones from the 
Pokemon Center ETB. Which one will get the most pulls? Of course, it's the one with the Pokemon Center has more packs, so more so more chances as well. Let's just order organize this a bit different. Let's work like this should be okay yep we have two of each i think all right then let's organize this one as well same way regilecki all right there we go let's start with the regular etb Let's put it a bit further to the back so we have a little bit more of a view. First pack on the regular ETB. What do we get? White code card. First of all, let me just grab a box to put the trash in because I forgot that during one of the last videos as well, and uh, that's just not great. Um, I don't even have <laughs> I don't even have a box right now. Wait a minute, guys! I'll grab one. Okay, I do have a box right now. Okay. Just for the trash. Let's put this one here. All right. Let's see, it's a white code card. So one chance is what that means as far as I know. Code card. Let's see here, four from the back. We have a fighting energy, regenerative energy, duosion, a V-guard energy, Jupiter, Ponyta, Venonat, Ralts, a Spinda, a reverse hollow lance, and a regular rare guard of war, which is what I kind of expected. Okay. Next, sorry if I bump the camera sometimes guys, it's just not always easy to reach my arms far enough. This one is definitely harder to open. <laughs> uh, to reach my arms out far enough. Black border seems a bit better. All right. What do you guys think? Which one will win this uh, versus? There is something in the back, I think. I mean, besides just a regular hollow. But, uh, Leafy Camo Poncho, Slurpuff, a Lance, Marini, Indeedy, Baltoy, Sunkern, Clink, Reverse Hollow, Furisoad Girl. Oh, it's just a, re a regular Hollow Crocodile. So I saw that wrong. I saw that one wrong, definitely. Okay. Not the strongest start from the regular ETB, but still have a lot more packs to go. I just hope. The camera doesn't shut down, meanwhile. Let's move, let's move. We have a V-Star card. Let's see. Ninetales, Claydol, Hypno, Rotom, Dreepy, Vulpix, Emolga. <laughs> we have Chimeco, Reverse Hollow, Petalil, and a Mawile V, which I don't think I have. 
yet. I don't think I have that yet. Okay. It's also very nice to get just some cards that I have not pulled just yet. I have opened a full booster box from Silver Tempest. So if you have not seen that opening, I advise you to check that out. And that way you can kind of see, it's a Lugia art right here. Uh, that way you can kind of see um, what cards I already have. Because most of them I pulled over there. And of course, like I'm not this big YouTuber, uh, like company that sells like thousands and thousands or hundred thousands of um, of Pokemon cards uh, that has a lot of money to buy cases upon cases upon cases of booster boxes to open i don't have that that kind of money so you will not see that from me sunflora primordial altar 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 solosis zubat lgm i like the moon there in the in the frame um we have fungus or uh <laughs> sandy gas reverse hollow swab blue and a chestnut V. Okay, not bad. Also one that I don't have yet. So I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. It's not a secret rare, but still pretty good. Still pretty good. It's better than a regular V. So what's that worth? Regilecki design. White code card. <clears throat> My hands are kind of slippery today. I don't know what it is. It's hard to grab uh, to pull the cards. I don't know. We have a dark energy, the Dene, Brixen, Morpeko, Relicanth, Hallucha, Togedomaru, like the design here, Petalil. <laughs> We see that, I didn't notice it at first, but we have like in the Togedomaru, you see the, the Dene and the Togedomaru right here. And it's, it's I really, really like this concept because uh, here you have all three. And in the, the Dene card, you have the Dene and uh, Togedomaru. And then in the to Togedomaru, you just have Togedomaru. So you have Togedomaru, then you have the Dene, which includes both. And then you have Pikachu, which also include all three. <clears throat> And then you have the more Peko V uh, that has the same thing going on with the Pikachu. <clears throat> it's just replaced by a more Peko, but also with the Dene and the, um, and the Togunomaru in it. So just an insider I think, but that's cool. Oh, another Radiant Serena. We already have this one um, two times. I already have that one. Uh, Radiant. And rever um, sorry, and a rare, regular rare Kling Klang. Let me sleeve the Radiant Serena. All right. Three more packs to go on the regular one. I mean, not bad. We're doing okay. Three pulls out of uh, five packs. So that's decent, let's say. Black Border. All right. I think there's something, but I could be wrong. Fire Energy, Archon, Serena, Dracloak, Baneri, Drowsy, Spinarak, Ralts, Krogunk, let's see, Reverse Hollow Glalie, which I like, and uh, oh, wait, there was nothing, so. Regular Hollow Dragapult, which I do have already, but I do sleeve the regular Hollow cards too, but I will not display it over there. Let's see. I forgot to sleeve the Crocodile. There we go. 
just to keep everything kind of organized. Two more packs from the regular ETB. Come on, come on, work with me. <laughs> we're starting with the Pikachu. I mean, not really, we're going to do the Patrick, but... One chance in this pack to get something. So, Leaf Energy, Hypno, Honch Crow. It's hard to pull them, I, I tell you, like Ninetales. Then we have, is it a Pikachu? It is, oh my God. <laughs> then we have Noibat, another Togedemaru. Sandile, Swirlix, a reverse hollow fungus, and a, a regular rare Delphox. Okay. Last pack magic on the regular ETB. All right. Let's see here. Upside down. All right. So, let's see. Last one for this side. Psychic energy. Brakeson. Lopini. Serena. Fletchling. Ferroseed. Smeargle. Esper, Meditite, Reverse Hollow Snorrent, and a regular rare Talon Flame. Okay, so these are the three pulls that we've gotten from the regular uh, ETB. Let's see what we can get from the Pokemon Center ETB. Oh, I kind of feel my back already, guys. Oh my god. Okay, let's start it. Good sign, good sign. If it was focusing, I don't know. Steel energy. A Dragonair. Venomoth. Oh my God, it's so slippery. I, what, I cannot hold them. I, I cannot grip them. Wallace. Pedalil. Litten, Litten, Murkrow, a Swell Blue, oh my god, what am I doing, I, I'm grabbing two cards at a time, Rotom, Reverse Hollow, Crobat, and an Unknown V, okay, don't have that one yet, not bad, not bad, first pack of this ETB, and the first pull right away. How much can we pull from this? By the way, guys, I have like um, 30 booster packs, like loose booster packs from Temp Silver Tempest because they were like really cheap. Um, and I'm thinking of like opening one of them like every day of, of a certain month uh, and it should be a month with like 30 days of course so I thought like maybe April because I mean I would start at, at, the, at April 1st but it's not a joke it's not a joke Serena Sigilif Gym Trainer Feebas Fennekin Spinarak. Oh, God damn, I just cannot pull the cards correctly. Uh, Beldum, Krogunk, Reverse Hollow Meowstick, and a regular rare um, Hollow. Uh, regular rare, sorry, Delphox, not Hollow. Okay, the last one for the Vulpix, Alolan Vulpix.
All right, let's try and go over it a bit quicker because I'm, <laughs> I fear that the camera might shut down like, I don't know, any minute. We have a V-Star card, Venomoth. Thing I cannot move quickly if my fingers just don't, if they slip, uh, Wallace, Jinx, Relicanth, I will do it like this, uh, Halucha, Rufflet, uh, Vulpix, Drowsy, Reverse Hollow Litten, and a regular Hollow uh, Archaeops. I also did get that one in the last opening from Silver Tempest. Lugia Art on this pack. What can we get? All right, code card. Damn it, it's so late already. I actually should go to sleep. <laughs> There's something in the back, I think. A fighting energy, a hypno. Hunch crow. It's just annoying to grab the card like this. Uh, Ninetales, Stunfisk. Talking to Maru, Esper, Smeargle, oh my god, again, what am I doing? Regular Litten, Reverse Hollow, Del Fox, and Brandon Full Art, okay, nice pull, nice pull, that's actually a pretty good pull, that is... It's, it's also not a secret rare, though. It's just regular full art. So, will we get more? That is the question. If, we, if right now we would get a, a Radiant card, it's actually as, like, as fairly matched as you can have it like okay let's see here water energy oh my god it's just it doesn't want to work with me today i don't know what it is guys i should i don't know if i should like use some product i don't know archon Probably not to pull the cards, but just to, to, to get some more grip on my hands. Uh, Clang. We have a Clay Doll. Venonat. Dupiter. Spinda. Feebas. Noibat. Reverse Hollow Dragonite, which I do like. And an Arcanine V. Suyan Arcanine V, which I do already have. I think I have that one twice already, actually. Not too sure, though. Like, now, at this point in time, it's pretty evenly matched. Like, what do you consider to be more or a better pull? Like, a regular V or a Radiant card? All right. We have a fire energy, a uh, jinx, a Brandon. <sighs> Man, it's just so annoying. I, I will have to do, I've never had this before, but it's so slippery. Brandon, Altaria, Baneri, Dreepy, Fampy, a Fletchling, Chimeco, ooh, nice. The Trainer Gallery, Rock Ruff. I don't have this one just yet. And then a, a regular a Hollow Rare Crobat. So yeah, the Pokemon Center ETB is definitely getting more pulls so far. I mean, to be honest, it's it's, it's a lot more expensive too, like over here in Europe, it's not easy to get and you have to pay like a lot extra to, to get these Pokemon Center ETBs. Like 
I think in the States, is it like a ten a ten dollar difference between the regular and like the uh, Pokemon Center ETB on initial prices? I mean, but over here, like we there's no stores that just I, I mean they don't really uh, like sell the the pokemon center boxes like straight to the people here it's just like some resellers uh, sell these etbs from pokemon center but it's it's just a lot more expensive like a lot of these boxes go over 100 euros which is kind of crazy uh dark energy curlia Toracat. Come on, like it, look at this, it's, it's not working. It's not working with me. Dragonair, again, oh my God. Solosis, Zubat. Sorry guys, just, it's just annoying that, that I can not decently pull the cards today. Elgem, Fungus. And it just goes slowly, even more slowly than I'm used to. Oh my god, don't... Sandy Guest, a Reverse Hollow Ferrothorn, and the regular Rare Cobalion. Three more packs to go, guys. I didn't look at the time when I started recording. Uh, it's also like an instance in where, in which like, could you do this during a live stream? Probably. Uh, but it's like just too little, I think, to do a live stream for. I kind of enjoyed the live stream that we had. Um, the first one. Had a ton of fun. We have the Leaf Energy. Leafy Camo Poncho. Slurpuff. Lance, Petalil, Chinchow. Come on, work with me. Come on. Why does it not want to work? Come on, here. There we go. Ferroseed. A lot of you people probably are saying, like, come on, stop complaining about the slippery fingers. You have Ponyta. Reverse Hollow Down Fan and a regular rare Zorora. 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 I always thought that was like some kind of. It was like not the best name because it's just not easy to pronounce. Oh, I just leave the regular rare. I mean, it doesn't matter. Two more packs to go. Of course, like most people that open Silver Tempest, go for the Lugia alt art, which would be like unbelievable. But they have these, you have these cards in every set, right? Uh, and it's so crazy that I actually was able to pull the, the, the Charizard alternate art from the 151 uh, UPC. Because that's the most valuable card of the whole set and I pulled it. So the fact that I was able to do that was kind of crazy. Uh, I would of course love to pull more of these, but how much luck can you expect, right? Sunflora. Primordial Altar. Snorance. Sandal. Fennekin. Murkrow, come on. Oh, come on, what is happening? Stop it. Ah, oh. sorry guys, I'm so frustrated because of this. It's such a small thing, but... Beldum, Reverse Hollow Victini, and a regular rare Verizion. Okay, last pack, magic for today. Let's see. I mean, 
the Pokemon Center ETB already won, so to know which one won, we don't have to continue, but I mean, how crazy would that be? Like, I'm just gonna say, okay, we're done. <laughs> I'm not opening this. Last pack. We have a Psychic Energy, Regenerative Energy, Duosion, V-Guard Energy, a lot of energies right here, Durant, Rolts, Fletchling, Dratini, a Kling, Reverse Hollow Lopani, and a regular rare Ms. Major. So nothing too crazy in that last one. But so guys, those were the pulls that we've gotten from both boxes. Um, so three pulls from the regular ETB and four pulls from the Pokemon Center ETB. So the Pokemon Center ETB won this time. Uh, like not a crazy difference, but it definitely won with that um, trainer gallery in, a, in the pool. So guys, I hope you kind of enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other openings uh, from Pokemon products and such. Uh, yeah, I appreciate all the support, guys, on the videos. Uh, thank you so much, and see you guys next time. Bye.